Does this happen to you? You need a flashlight and it doesn't work. Or somebody's taken the batteries out. Thankfully, Ann Mikosinski may have found a solution to this. You see, when she's not making music, playing sports, or doing homework, this 15-year-old high school student's an inventor. And I had to experiment a lot with it, but when it did finally work, I was like, score! Anne's been inventing since she was a kid. This bright idea has no moving parts, no batteries, no solar cells. All that's needed is the touch of a warm hand. You know, batteries aren't that reliable and we don't dispose of them very well at all. Usually we just throw them in like a, a dump or something and they leach, the chemicals leach into the ground. We should be looking to, and I think we are looking into, eliminating batteries. The flashlight is simple, insulating foam, some tubes, LED bulbs, and a secret circuit board. More on that in a moment. And these Peltier tiles, a thermal electric device used to cool electronics. A Peltier tile has two dissimilar metals and they have a bunch of tiny little junctions and they're sandwiched, in my case, in between two ceramic plates. And if you heat one side of this plate and you cool the other side, it will produce electricity because of the way the um, metals and the electrons inside are reacting. Google saw the light and Anne became one of 15 finalists in their annual science fair, an event that attracts thousands of entrants from around the world. Even if I don't win anything, which I probably won't, I'm just really happy to go on this trip and meet all these like, extremely intelligent people who have come up with these ideas and I'm just completely blown away by their projects, so I'm really excited to meet them all. Anne's modesty outshines her invention, a device that could profoundly change a gadget that's been around for over 100 years. She hopes to someday patent her hollow flashlight. Definitely I want to improve the efficiency of my whole flashlight in general and the appearance before it would be manufactured or marketed, but I think it does have a lot of potential like in emergency kits for emergency flashlights, as well as for people who just simply can't afford electricity or don't have access to it so they could use some, have some sort of light source. Before she could make it work, Anne had one small problem to overcome. The voltage from the Pelche tiles was too low to light the LED bulbs. So she built a secret transformer. And basically I converted the DC to AC and then I amplified the voltage. Leave it as that, but my circuit is a very simple circuit. Um, only has like three components in it or so, and, but it works. And how it works is relatively simple. The hand is the warm part that heats one side and the other side of the pellet tiles are lying on top of an aluminum tube. Aluminum is a good heat conductor. Because it's a hollow tube, uh, the ambient air and convection currents can flow through and around the tube, allowing for maximum heat cooling. So that's, I think that's the kind of unique part about my flashlight, I guess, is the fact that it does have no batteries and it's hollow. For anyone who does hold it, they're, they always feel like, oh, I'm producing power. And, you know, it's such an interesting feeling. And I think that for people to have these flashlights all over the world and to produce their own power instead of using the batteries as well would be a huge thing.